New at 10, unholy messages in a holy place. A Southside church becomes the target of vandals. Vandals spray graffiti all over Prince of Peace Lutheran Church. Now church leaders are left cleaning up and paying up. Corrine Zell live on South Howell to pick up the story. Corrine. George and Carol, some of the graffiti is so vulgar we can't even show you. The church has received no threats. They've had no problems. That's why they have no idea who could have done this and why they would want to. Bright red graffiti covers all sides at Prince of Peace Lutheran Church. People put a lot of effort, energy into their church and a lot of love into their church, and you don't like to see that. Pastor Andrew Nyron woke up to learn his church was vandalized overnight. It causes a lot of work and a lot of pain for people and it's a lot to to deal with, especially at a place where you're trying to help people and trying to be a good part of the neighborhood. Lynn Johns, who's lived across the street for 32 years, is disgusted. It makes me kind of sad that somebody's targeting this area along with the fact that it's a church. It's a church, you know, I mean, shouldn't be that way. Fearing what could be next, neighbors want the vandals caught. Someday they're going to grow up and look at back at this when they are taxpayers and realizing that, you know, this isn't a smart way to go. Just sad. The pastor says the vandals struck sometime between 9 p.m. and midnight Tuesday. Churches sit empty a lot of times, you know, nobody's there overnight, so it's hard to know what happens. Nyron admits a church is a target for people in pain, but he doesn't know why someone picked this one. We try to do a lot for the community, so, you know, we want to be defined by that. Um, not so much by the bad things that happen. The spray paint is still here because the damage is so extensive. The building has to be professionally cleaned. Reporting live along South Howell Avenue, Corrine Zell, today's TMJ4.